I'm going to be slightly different than Jonathan because I had a, a course that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Cool. So I'm going to be slightly different than Jonathan because I had a, a course that doesn't exist anymore. So, and I also wasn't necessarily at Clifton, but I was actually at the city. So back in 2008, I uh, went from A-levels to multimedia, which was in uh, the city campus. And um, I did three years doing interactive media. So potentially that kind of whole web design web design route. Then uh, through my university, I actually didn't do a placement year because they weren't on offer. Uh, but what I found that was good for my experience was to build a bit of a portfolio. So in my second year, I did uh, a WordPress website for an e-commerce site and got some money for that. And I was like, as a second year, that's great because I need help paying my bills. And then as a third year, I thought as part of my promotional stuff, ready for when I go out and hit the job world, I would create something called the WebGrad Engine which I was basically building a tool for myself to find all the web developer jobs and pull them onto one site so I could find them and apply for all of them. So a lot of my projects or mini projects have helped me build up the portfolio, which is outside of what I did uh, for university. And that was the thing that helped me get my first job in London. So my first job in London was web development. I did that for two years, then went into a digital agency uh, and worked there for five years. And then what I've done now is I've started my own company as a contractor. So you guys, you don't always have to work for another employee as a, well, another employer as an employee, but you could become your own limited company and kind of just one-on-one -on -one be brought into a project for three months, six months, a year, work on that project, then move along to another project. And that could be in the sphere of yeah, development. Or for me, I've slightly moved into UX. So specifically, I'm slightly better creatively rather than creative in code. So I'm now a user experience designer and uh, currently working with a big company uh, in um, central London called. So I've had to sadly cut the audio here because I'm talking about a particular client. Instead, I will wave my hands to the sound of me, well, the sound of my voice as a voiceover. I'm actually in my office with a rug over my head to improve the acoustics of the room. Um, yeah, so let's get back to it. Three, two, one, action. So I get to work with lots of coders, lots of back-end engineers, front-end engineers, and I kind of sit across it all because I'm looking at the journey and how the touch points of where the users are interacting. So I would say going back to the very kind of my university thing, I think it's really important to look at the opportunities that are presented like placement years, but also look outside of your course, try and figure out if you can do little side projects or work with other people around you to collab on something that will look good for your portfolio when you do hit uh, the kind of the time when you're coming out of university looking for your first job as well. So yeah, thanks for listening. That's my five minutes.